Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I uh, just posted a video a couple days ago with the... Here, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. I like that. I posted a, uh, a video of the baby machine. I put it on the Wicked Edge last night and kind of just uh, cleaned it up. I was going to put it back together. And I figured, hey, why not show you guys the innards that I explained the other day in the video, so in the overview. So I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna take this apart, and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, inner workings of the baby machine. All right. So this is a T8. There's only two body screws, and then you have your, uh, of course, you have your pivot. Oops, spin it on that side. No. Okay, so if you are wondering, I use um, I use a Calavera cutlery, Jeremy Robertson. I use a Calavera cutlery driver. He machines these himself, and uh, it's got a free spinning head on it. I, I love this thing, and I use Weeha bits. Um, no affiliation with either one, but I think uh, Weeha bits are the are the best in the business. These are the original ones that I bought years ago, and they're still rocking. So. Can't beat them. So, yeah, let's take this thing apart and take a look at it. For the little, there we go. Oh, I lied to you guys. Okay, so in my original video, I said there was a nipple that went, um, that was machined in. I lied. Um, when I took it apart the first time, I just glanced at it. I didn't actually take a look what these are is there's um there's a, a female end that's just milled in there put kind of punched in and they basically use like a small stop pin as a as a set pin right so it sits in there like that and there's one in the other scale as well Here, I'll show you. so there's one in each scale and then it kind of just helps set everything in line whenever you go put it back together along with the stop pin and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, here's the inner looking, though, of the baby machine. You know, you can see some of the milling there where it would have been a backspacer, but it's just two big chunks of tie. Uh, I don't know what the number 280 uh, is. I don't know what the significance of that is. I know that um, my knife is, uh, like, number 114 of, of 200. So I'm not sure what 280 is. I mean, it may it may mean something to the Chinaman, but uh, not to this guy. So yeah. So yeah, I figured I'd break this down real quick, and then I'll I'll shoot it, and I'll put it back together on film. Kind of opposite what a lot of people do. They do the full takedown and talk about it, whatever. And I just don't want to do that. So um, here's the clip. Just kind of phallic in a in a way, I think. Right? Or it kind of looks like Johnny Five, if you're old enough to know what that is. So, it's either Johnny Five or it's a dick. I don't know. But the, the clip works great. So, even if it is a dick, I'm happy with it. So, here's that. We'll put this, uh, put this blade back on. And then you have your, like, your, uh, I guess, race washers. They're kind of thick, too. Put that on top of there, and for shits and giggles, we'll go ahead and put this pan on this side. And it's kind of nice too that it's just two chunks of milled tie because I can't tell you how many times I've taken apart knives and put them back together in a hurry and forgot to put the backspacer on and then have to take literally every screw back out. It sucks ass. So yeah, I'm a big fan. So yeah, basically you've got your set pin hole, body screw, set pin hole, body screw, uh, pocket clip hole, and then your lanyard hole. So there's not a whole lot going on. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's really foolproof to put back together. It only goes back in one way. So we'll throw the pivot in. Tighten that down a little bit. Just enough to hold it in place. Uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and put it pretty much all the way down. 
screw it. If you can hear my cat in the background, I'm sorry. Look at that. One screw in, and it's dead center. That's Chris Reeve type stuff there. <laughs> and it's pretty stout, too, even with only having the pivot in. Um, let me see here. Throw this body screw in. Man. Is this the right one? Nope. There's one shorter screw, and I can't remember which one it goes into. Ah, found it. Okay. So that's the, uh, the shorter one goes up there. The other three longer ones. You have two longer ones for the dick clip. All right. So we'll throw the dick clip on. I hope I'm getting all this on camera. I keep forgetting to look up. Sorry, guys. Still trying to figure out what I'm doing here with these videos, but like I said in the first one, just one take, upload, and hope for the best. Screw it. And I would have done this one outside, but it's uh, it's ridiculously hot already here today. All right, did I scratch it? Yeah, a little bit. So there we go, back together. Perfect, right? Yeah, man. Still centered? Yep. Oh, hell yeah. God, this knife is so good. It's just such a good knife. My God. It's perfect in every way. And honestly, it's making me pretty obsessed with uh, Tashi Baruka stuff right now. Okay, put it this way. I, I carried this knife for two weeks. And... This used to be the knife that I basically based all others off of. And this is a Sabenza 21, which is perfection. I carried the baby machine for two weeks. I went to go pick this back up and I went, eh, it's kind of clunky. And that's how I feel about the Sabenza right now. It'll never leave my collection. And I still love the Sabenza, but it just feels clunky compared to the baby machine. It's just that good. It's so light. It's so well machined. Um, the Sabenza feels heavy now because there is no light. You know, it's just two slabs of tie. There's no lightning pockets or anything. It's not as smooth. Um, it's just, meh, you know, nothing crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it, it's weird, man. It's not, uh, I didn't expect the baby machine to, to make me think the way it does, but it has. So, it's cool. Um, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, please do. It, I, I don't think there's any way you won't like it. It's it's an awesome knife. They did a really, really good job, and I love mine. So I'm, I hope you like this one. Um, I'm using the Fuji X-T1 again, but with my zoom lens. And um, I hope that was a little bit better. I, I'm not sure, but I hope. Anyway, um... Any critiques or anything you want, leave down in the comments. If you want to see more, leave that in the comments too. Um, I got a lot of positive response on the first one. I don't know how this one's going to turn out, but I hope it's at least you guys like it as good. Um, anyway, have a good uh, good weekend. Uh, to all the fathers out there, have a good Father's Day weekend. And um, that's about it. Joe Banana's out. Peace!